We are back with a wild story out of Long Island. You usually see them in the water, but somehow a baby seal made it onto land and went on a weekend trip just wandering the streets of the Hamptons. Yeah, a seal seen trotting through a parking lot, a traffic circle, before police finally rescued it. News 4's Randy Navini explains how the seal ended up there in the first place and where the seal is resting safely tonight. For Southampton Town Police, this might be a first. In all my 30 years of policing, I've never seen it before. Officers responded to a call Sunday morning of a seal pup far from home, stranded in a busy traffic circle in Riverhead, about 500 feet from the Peconic River. It took a team of officers and marine mammal rescue experts an hour and a half to corral the pup into a crate and get it to safety. They surrounded him. They did what police officers do. Um, they used their tactics to kind of corral him into an area and kind of spoke to him to keep him calm. The lost seal pup is now basking in the sun, getting checked out at the New York Marine Rescue Center in Riverhead. Director Maxine Montello says they think the gray seal is about three months old and likely climbed a fishing ladder to get from the river to the road. It sounds odd, but sometimes they do wander. These guys are so inquisitive at this age, but we've rescued seals in people's backyards, under people's vehicles. Um, so if the water's near, they'll tend to kind of wander. Montello says the wayward pup seems to be just fine and will likely be released back to the wild within a week. Police say the people who first spotted the seal and called for help likely saved his life. There's five arteries coming into that traffic circle, so it's amazing that he wasn't hit. Police hope the lost seal story is a reminder that seals can wander, especially this time of year, and calling authorities is the best way to help. Call the police department. We will come and we will do what we have to do in order to keep the animals safe as well as the public. Rana Novini, News.